welcome back to my channel it's Naela so today I'm doing a self-care slash quarantine maintenance video um I want to do one of these because you know I'm just trying to get cute so I'm like okay let me film this because I'm doing lashes nails and like a little skincare routine in this video but I do have a full skincare routine so if you want to check that out make sure I'll put this over here at the top so go check that out um but yeah i want to do like a little self-care you know quarantine edition doing it myself because you know the girls are on lockdown so we can't go and get our nails done and stuff but so yeah i did my hair also i did this like braid it was literally my first time doing it so i mean for my first time like i really think i did good especially for somebody i don't know how to braid like that like corn roll i don't know how to do it so like this came out cute i just wanted some you know to last me like a week or so i might take it out probably tomorrow and just redo it maybe i kind of want to do knotless braids so i might record that if i do it to see how it comes out because i mean your girl can braid so why can't i do knotless braids you know but yeah so it came out super cute i ain't take no pictures in it sadly i've just been out of the mood to take pictures y'all like really but let's get into this video if you are interested in watching this self-care quarantine edition make sure to keep on watching okay y'all so i'm going to start off with just a little skincare routine i've been doing lately like every day i've been using this neutrogena it's the hydrogel i got this from walmart actually because you know from well also it's not closed online but they have a bigger version and i want to try this out because my skin's been really dry lately used i used to have like oily skin but now it's been dry so i want to try this water gel out so i've been using this every day so i just wash my face um yeah like i do my skincare routine but that's kind of like a night one but i do that mostly i wash my face every morning and night so i wash my face and then i just put this all around my skin it just gives your skin a real nice like um just very just moisturize your skin basically but it feels like so so good like like even saying my skin's been so dry i don't even know why but yeah it feels so good i'm not trying to get it all around my eyelashes because i am going diy individual lashes so um okay i do that and then i use this this is a new product. It is the Cure Brightening Super Green Serum. I got this from Whole Foods on the back of my hand <laughs> because it's so like, so like watery kind of. It's a, it's a oil. So I put it all over my face, but it's helped to, it's supposed to help brighten your skin. So anywhere you have dark marks or anything like that, that's where I mainly put this, but I just put this all over my skin because like, look, it just gives me a glow. Now I look oily, but I mean, I don't put this much. It just says, it literally says to use a drop. So I accidentally put too much. So let's get a paper towel and take some of this off. Cause I'm gonna look crazy a little bit. Just literally use a drop. Like it goes a long way as you can tell, but I'm gonna um, clean up around my eyes because I'm about to do some lashes and I don't need anything oily or oil based or water around my lashes. And lastly, I just spray my face. I have aloe rose water. And this is from... And this is from Ulta. So I just... Spray that. And then that's how I do, like, every morning. Like, you know, especially being home and, you know, you're not going outside really to get a lot of air on your skin. I've just been doing that every day. And my skin's been getting a lot of moisture, so that's been great. Like I said, I'm clean around my eyes. So that's my little everyday morning kind of skincare kind of thing I do, moisturize. So next is these individual lashes. So I'm using the Ardell. So my ring light is literally so bright. Okay, yeah, I'm using the Ardell Foaming Individual Lashes. They come in short, medium, and long. And I got these from Target. And I've seen a lot of people talk about these. I've seen Tierra, Tierra Walker. 
I think that's her name on YouTube. She talked about these. These are good. I used to do my own individual lashes. Like I told you guys about that story. If you see my chit chat, get ready with me about getting my lashes done. So I haven't been to get my lashes done in a while. So I've been wanting to do them again. So yeah, we're going to try to do them again. So I have done them before. So I'm not like a beginner beginner, but and for adhesive you have to get this special adhesive from um it comes in target it comes in a kit in another kit with the lashes this is the clear adhesive and you can buy it like this and this is the um black if this is the dark i know y'all so bright the dark adhesive for individual lashes is by ardell so you can't use like the regular um you can't use the regular lash glue like you use on like your regular eyelashes so um what's another thing oh make sure to get like a a <laughs> a plate or something you could put this in got like a piece of paper like a thin piece of paper and i'm going to dip this in the paper so I got the dark adhesive because when I did it before it would leave like a like a white kind of mark so I got the dark adhesive but I'm gonna just try the clear one again just to you know um see how it goes and it you see but I literally just put like the smallest drop of Ardell lash adhesive on there and these are the lashes out of the pack my camera's so my ring light's so freaking pretty yeah, so it comes in short, medium, and long. And it's faux mink, so it's supposed to look like, you know, mink lashes. It's not real mink, but faux mink. <laughs> so I have a, like, a whole mirror in front of me to do this, so I gotta get up kind of with the short, the shortest um, length at the top. Get the shortest length, that's for your inner eye. So, you start short, medium, and long. That's how I mainly do it because your natural eyelashes are like, you know, it's short, medium, it gets longer at the end. So, that's why I'm trying to, you know, do it like my natural lashes. So, I literally just grab it out the pack. So, this is how it looks. Well, let me turn this this way so you guys can see. This is how it looks. So I'm going to dip the lash. This is how the lash looks. I feel focus. Focus, focus, focus. So I'm going to dip it up. Put it on top of the lash. To go up in my eye. Not in my eye, but up on my lash. So I dipped it up. So the adhesive is on top of the lash. And this can get messy. So make sure to get like some paper towels and stuff. So what I do is I grab my eye like this because it's easier to see up. Whew, it will sting if you get it. Like your lash. So you just press that up. So I hope you guys can see. So you're literally just pressing that in. To make sure it is on it so you want it to go like exactly where your natural lash is not on top not the bottom like exactly where like your lashes is coming out from your your eyeball <laughs> who's calling me so rude you want it to go there Make sure not to get this in your eye because it definitely can be, it could definitely sting and stuff like that. So, yeah, so that is the first lash. I hope you guys can see that. It's literally right at the top there. And I'm not a professional, so, you know, don't come for me, but this is how I do my lashes. So, yeah, if you guys can see that there. And I just push it up. To make sure it's sticking 
I just push it up. And my natural lash is like, it just goes kind of straight out. So you're going to have to like definitely blend it out. But okay, that's how it's looking. I know it doesn't look like anything right now, but <laughs> put it down and press up and hold it for like a few seconds. So it can stick and push it up. So that's how you know it's like sticking. So that's eyelash number two. I know you guys can't probably really see it from like just looking at it, but it's there. So yeah, that's the first couple lashes. I'm trying to push it up. It's not gonna be thick in the in the beginning because they're short. So when I get to the outer, I put a lot to make it like thick. But yeah, that's the first couple lashes. If you want a real, real full, I'll recommend buying two of these so you can really like layer and stuff like that. I should have bought two, but I don't know why I didn't. But we want to try another short. Like I said, I'm trying to mimic like my natural lash, how it goes from short, kind of medium-ish to long. So you dip that in the glue again. at the top so you see that little balls at the top of the lash and I pull my lash so it could be a little taut so I can see more I'm putting that kind of right next to hold on. put that right next to the other lash Make sure to press up on it. And sometimes you'll have mistakes like this. And you just gotta keep trying. But the key goal is to like make sure to push the lash up so it can stick. <laughs> some at the bottom so we're gonna do that too and I don't have a big eye so you see like literally just them couple of um lashes just fill my whole lash so this might be the last one yeah I don't have a big eye so <laughs> just gonna fit right on the end here And then just hold it. I find it easier to hold it just with my finger and push it up. It's kind of easier than the tweezer. So yeah, that's all that. All those lashes. The long ones are really pretty. Like they curl up and everything. I love that. 
so yeah that's one eye just doing one layer but i'm going to go in again and add in a couple more and i didn't need that much so this is like all i use for for um one layer like start over here i just feel i just use all that yeah i didn't use that much at all but for the set, the um, bottom layer i say layers but it's just literally going on the bottom part i'm gonna try to use like the same one so it could like match so at the beginning we want to start with the short you probably don't have to use as many though so this is what I mean when you're going to have to put it up like this, like dip it in the glue, but up. Sorry, I can't show you guys. It'll just be way too much trying to take my camera down and stuff. But so you're going to have to like kind of hold your eye up and then put it right at the bottom. But try not to get in your eye. So be very careful. Yeah, this one's gonna be really hard. You're just putting it right at the bottom of that lash. So kind of just like hooking it on to that lash kind of. And that's what's gonna really make it start getting thick. Okay. And this is like actual adhesive, so you know it might sting a little bit, but try not to get in your eye if you possibly can. So I'm doing another under layer. Put that underneath. Yeah, this one's a little harder because you don't want it to get on your eyeball. So that is that one eye. I put a layer on the top and a layer on the bottom. So they are looking very pretty. Very like, I just got my lashes done. You know, they're not as like real dramatic, like, you know, lashes, like lash extensions. But, you know, yours is DIY. So I'm going to do my other eye off camera and then I'll come back and we could do these nails. Yep, they look cray. So we're gonna be putting these on. These are so freaking pretty. What? How did that come out? What? <laughs> I don't even know where that went. But okay, so with these you have to like literally like measure each one to your nail. Like this one. Here's my pinky and that fits. Yeah, this one matches. Oh, does it? You don't want it to be like a big, you know, difference. 
So that's my thumb. Or is this my thumb? You don't want it to like pop off, so. Okay, this is definitely my thumb. That's the other one's too small. And now I just need one for this finger. So that's the layout for that. And I need one for my other finger. Maybe this could work for that finger. Or is that my thumb? No, it's too small for my thumb. So that could be this finger. It's a little big, but sorry, I might not be a great angle, but yeah. So that's that. So what I do is just this is my thumb. And my nails are already short and stuff, so I just do this to make it easier for my nails to stick on because you want to make the surface a little rough but don't really just put the glue on the back of the nail not too much grab the nail the tip of the nail and press it on my finger and you gotta hold it for a couple seconds also to make sure they are on Stick in. And be careful with this glue because this glue is very strong, so it'll definitely like stay. And then I'll file the nail up just a little bit. finished result y'all seen me transform from literally basic to baddie so thank you guys for watching i hope this inspired you to you know give yourself a little self-care day make yourself look cute feel better and i have all like the links to things below so make sure to like and subscribe to my channel thank you guys for watching i will see you in my next video bye